Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there, guys. It's never a dull moment in crypto, that is for sure. There is so much happening. Literally last night, I was up on Twitter. The hack was taking place on FTX. Uh, millions and millions of dollars of people's funds was being hacked out of FTX, which is crazy. Uh, we've got updates in relation to Ripple and XRP. A venture capital firm has come out now in support of Ripple, stating that XRP should not be treated as a security. Uh, Sam Bankman-Fried, the guy is just uh, getting absolutely slammed uh, on mainstream television here in Australia. Uh, obviously, obviously, all over the world, uh, it's full on what's happening in the crypto at the moment. So well, I'm going to go through everything. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, guys, because there's so much to talk about. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We're just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence for this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt like we've seen in the last few days. So again, my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right. And also, I want to point out the fact that everybody investing in crypto should um, obviously be in possession of a cold wallet storage device. A Trezor, a Ledger Nano X or a Nano or an Alipol, whatever you use, just get your cryptos off exchanges. At the moment, I think it's very chaotic in this space. Things are getting quite dangerous and uh, a lot of you know exchanges in general are losing liquidity and uh, therefore could uh, obviously you would lose your crypto straight up and that's what's happened with ftx it's happened with celsius it's happened now with me personally with blockfi um so again not your keys not your crypto and i think once the uh you know all of this stuff in crypto starts resolving itself i think you could start looking at staking and whatnot but uh, again i'm very very cautious of this at the moment so uh, again i ordered myself an alipol i'm pulling all my cryptos as soon as i get that in my possession i'm putting them in cold storage because it's just too crazy at the moment anyway Let's go to the community tab, ladies and gentlemen. Check this right out here. When Elon was buying or basically buying Twitter, Sam Bankman Freed offered $3 billion, uh, obviously, to acquire it as well. And Elon Musk asked Michael Grimes of Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley, massive bank, right? If he was actually liquid. And uh, Musk added, he set off my BS detector which is why I didn't think he had $3 billion. And that is unbelievable. The BS detector, crazy. These were the altcoins up in my portfolio this morning. We had Doge, Solo, Gas, CKB, and Constellation DAG. And I just made this point last night because it's true. Absolute facts, all right? So all of this chaos in crypto at the moment makes you think and become mentally smarter and stronger like a seasoned bull. Learn from it. People make mistakes all the time in investing. You know, you got to learn lessons big time. And I, I personally have learned my lessons the hard way, as everyone knows. Um, so again, this is just going to make you stronger and smarter mentally, physically, whatever you want to do it, uh, to be an investor in general. It's not financial advice, but you learn from this stuff happening at the moment. So we need to be become smarter with our money and crypto in more particular. But check this out as well. This was happening last night. So hundreds of millions of dollars are now flowing out of FTX wallets. Some speculate liquidators, but as late as Friday night, not typical times for such rapid heavy movements. Some withdrawals are being swapped to, from Tether to die. Hack or insider actions, $26 million here alone uh, in this post. Oh, it's just ridiculous. And again, check this right out here. Alert, a high probability insiders at FTX are currently trying to run off with the funds, 
Both FTX and FTX UX wallets have now been affected and are commingled right here, whatever that means. Anyway, the current amount being laundered is $380 million. And again, I hit 43,000 subscribers yesterday. So thank you very much to every single one of you. I really appreciate it. Uh, the community is growing every single day. But guys, it's just so much happening in this space. It's all to do with FTX, second largest crypto exchange on the planet. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I actually buy my cryptos in Australia. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin if you do. But of course, do your own research with this stuff. All the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. Now, I just want to make a point about CoinSpot. I'm not paid by them at all. I like my buying my cryptos off here. And I am staking a few on here as well. And uh, I honestly believe that CoinSpot is one of the safest exchanges in the world incredible security um the only thing that they do not do obviously is trading you cannot trade cryptocurrencies on CoinSpot like binance or kucoin or gate.io or whatever it may be or on ftx at this point which is no longer existence but basically it's a platform to buy and stake um, i'm not sure if they will introduce that in the future i don't know but uh, it's pretty much a simple platform where you buy cryptos right that is it and stake it if you wish at your own risk not financial advice but Again, once I get my Alipol, my other cold storage, now I'm obviously going to be pulling uh, off my cryptos and putting them in cold storage because I think there's just too much chaos going on at the moment and uh, it's it's quite scary. So we need to protect ourselves and I think everyone needs to be smart about their uh, crypto on whatever exchange you've got them on. So please be careful. Anyway, quickly go through the prices right now. Bitcoin sitting at 25000 Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD because I'm catering for everybody. But Ethereum sitting at 1900 today. You got XRP. It's still an incredible buying opportunity at $0.56. Cents. Dogecoin uh, sitting at $0.13. Cents, all right? I'm still holding my bag of Dogecoin, obviously, before the SNL skit and Elon Musk getting involved. But, uh, you know, I'm still holding it. Who knows where that's going to go? Cardano's at $0.52. Cents. I am listening to daily updates at the moment with Charles Hoskinson as well who is actually quite incredible and intelligent the way he speaks and conducts himself during these speeches. And uh, yes, I, you know, I have my differences, you know, with regards to what he said about the XRP army and being all these, you know, you know, wild animals and lions. That's basically what we are. But I mean, he's got a brain on his shoulders and that's something that I like as well. And, uh, you know, I am very bullish on Cardano uh, as a project in general. So it's pretty good to see that. Anyway, uh, moving on, Maddox at dollar forty-seven. You have Shiba Inu down 067 percent as well. Solana is still at twenty-one dollars, down eleven percent. Now I did buy Solana uh, at forty percent off. I could not resist. It's not financial advice, but I've been wanting to hold Solana for a while. I don't know where it's going to go, but we'll see. Now, moving on, some other ones here, guys. Stellar XLM is at fourteen cents. You've got Algorand at forty-two cents as well. Near protocols at three dollars. I was going to buy this at fourteen dollars, which is crazy. And uh, lucky I didn't, because I would be seriously down. But I do hold near protocol. V chain is at three cents. This has been flatlining for years at this price, and I think it's going to moon very soon, uh, especially with supply chain issues around the world. Quant is still holding strong at 170. If it drops back down below where around that eighty dollar level, I told you yesterday I will be backing up my truck to buy more. We have Luna Classic down 0.75%. Hedera's at $0.07 cents today. Sandbox, Theta, and Mana, $0.93, cents, $1.39, and Mana's at $0.72. Cents. We have Axie Infinity at $10 today. IOTA Banking Coin at $0.33. Cents. You have Phantom at $0.28. Cents. The Graph's at $0.09 cents as well. Casper is up slightly to 1.65% to $0.05. Cents. XDC is holding strong at $0.04. Cents and still undervalued in my opinion. We have Reef as well. De uh, DeFi, I believe, is going to make a massive comeback in the future. Reef is an undervalued gem, and no, I'm not paid by any of these companies to say that I like Reef. I've seen some price predictions. I've done my research. And again, I've got a decent holding in Reef as well. So again, that is under a cent. We have XYO currently down as well, 4.87%. What else we got here, guys? ALBT, Alliance Block is up in the green slightly, 0.42% to $0.07. Cents. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles quickly. And again, I've got the Wall Street Bull Patreon. It is linked below. I put up all my buys, my sales, my trades, what I'm interested in. I love talking with the community in there. Very, very serious and bullish investors. 
And I also like talking about my dividend investments as well and just business in general and news. It's an incredible community and everyone can talk in there as well. So join up. It is linked below. You will not regret it. And again, it's for serious investors, all right? So uh, I love talking with everyone in there. Really, I do. And I can message everyone directly, which is good. It makes it a lot easier. Now, crypto bubbles. Let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. Let me refresh this on the day. The only big one here is Trust Wallet token. 21.7%, 21% and 50% on the month. I'm not invested in Trust Wallet token. I uh, obviously do use Trust Wallet for some assets. And again, the assets that are really high value are in cold storage. All right. And then I believe will absolutely go parabolic in the future, aka Bitcoin, XRP, all my banking coins as well. And uh, guys, Trust Wallet, again, I do use it for some things. And I'm um, being open and honest with you guys. Now, Dogecoin up 8.5% on the day. Uh, sitting at nine cents right now. Again, I sold off a massive part of my Dogecoin when it hit 80 cents Australian dollars, which was just wild. At the time, Slum Doge Millionaire had around about $3 million in uh, Dogecoin, uh, which is just crazy. I can't believe he didn't sell anything. Oh, I don't know. I would have taken profits if that was me. But anyway, I, I took profits and put it into Bitcoin. I've been holding Bitcoin ever since 2017. So I've been in this space for a while. Solana down 11% today. And again, I don't know where this is going to be in the future, guys. But, uh, you know, if they do release those, uh, you know, millions of Solana tokens, it could send the price plummeting again. But... Just think looking at the price that it was at 231 US dollars uh, and now trading at $14. Again, it was, an, it was a no-brainer for me. I just threw some money into it because I've been wanting to for a long time. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's go quickly to the news. A VC firm, venture capital firm, makes strong case why XRP should not be considered a security. Have a look at this. So Ripple continues to gain new supporters in the ongoing lawsuit. The one of the newest is Paradigm, a VC firm that backs cryptocurrency and Web3 companies and protocols. Paradigm remains one of the largest investment firms in crypto industry, launching a record-breaking $2.5 billion fund in November last year, which was surpassed in May by $4.5 billion fund from Anderson Horowitz. Um, that said, this begs the question of why it would be interested in Ripple lawsuit. Very, very interesting. So have a look at this. All right. So Paradigm says that the outcome of the Ripple lawsuit has the potential to do, uh, to dramatically impact the design and operation of crypto and Web3 companies. Hence the request to file an amicus brief. The firm says it wants to participate in the, in the case because it is concerned that a decision casually adopting the language advocated by the uh, SEC could have a sweeping and un, uh, unintended effects on Paradigm and others who seek to utilize new technology in a way that could benefit users. On the surface, the case might be about whether certain offers of sales of XRP tokens were securities offerings, but the SEC's rhetoric rhetoric right here goes further than it claims to require all the laws uh, obviously supports as the SEC asserts that XRP tokens and by extension, many other crypto assets themselves are securities. In a document addressed by to the court, Paradigm argued that the SEC's attempt to obtain new authority through the court was a regulatory overreach. So Paradigm's main argument broadened on the mis misapplication of the Howey test. He points out that the comprehensive study has confirmed that no federal uh, appellate court has upheld that an asset that is uh, an object of an investment contract transaction is itself a security or that the subsequent transfer of that asset would be a securities transaction, nor has the SEC cited any such authority. So again, Paradigm have come out full swinging here in support of Ripple, and I think a lot of companies will as well. And again, I mentioned in my Twitter post yesterday, I think once the big banks come involved, that's just going to be the nail in the coffin for uh, the SEC. Now, moving on, guys, let's go. Ripple helps move almost a billion XRP as the price begins to recover. And again, we're starting to see this quite often, more and more these days, guys, but 810 million XRP on the move. Ripple takes an active part. Obviously, Whale Alert's keeping updates of this. A dozen tweets showing that Ripple and Whales have been moving astounding chunks of XRP, starting at 30 to 40 million XRP and ending in 307 million. And check this out. A whale shifted 173 million XRP from Binance to a wallet to Bittrex. 306 million XRP was transferred from an unknown wallet to another. 
Ripple sent 100 million XRP to its reserve wallet in order to send it to an outside wallet belonging to Ripple later on. Crazy amounts of XRP are moving as well. I think a lot of whales are holding on and they're still accumulating. And that's what I'm proposing to do. I wish I was a whale that had access to that kind of uh, capital, but that's going to come in the future. Now, look at this. Ripple and XRPs uh, and Stellar Lumens XLM is the only crypto that is part of ISO 222 and can work with CBDCs. So since the explosion of the cryptocurrency into the mainstream, regulators have been trying to see which digital assets will most likely fall in line with their view of interoperability. Hence, they are trying to incorporate ISO 222 crypto assets because they suit the regulator's development of CBDCs. So again, ISO 222 is the global standard for exchanging electronic messages between financial institutions through the society, World Interbank Financial Telecommunication, SWIFT. The system is set to change how banks communicate and enhance interoperability. In addition, integrating key crypto assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum into SWIFT ecosystem and giving them ISO 200, uh, basically an ISO number will radically change how digital assets and fiat currency interact. Crazy stuff. And I've been talking about this for a long time. Honestly, if I think the if you're holding any of the ISO 222 coins, guys, um, you know, things are going to be quite wild and they have real world utility. That is facts. Now, uh, Gallus Capital admits, check this out, over 50% of its capital was locked up in FTX. That is a lot of money right here. So co-founder Kevin Zhao has explained that around $40 million of Galios capital is locked up in FTX, which is wild. So a lot of um, VC capital firms as well have had their money disappear or lost because it's been locked in FTX as well in investments. And I believe a lot of it's gone through to Alameda Capital as well. So um, Alameda Research, sorry, that is devastating. Devastating. So FTX reportedly hacked as officials flag abnormal wallet activity. Wallets tied to FTX and FTX US have seen $659 million in, in cumulative out outflows over the past 24 hours. <sighs> and I was watching this live on Twitter. Like literally you could see the transactions moving. Everyone was just happening. It was unfolding live on Twitter. Now, they have identified the... Uh, the hacker, believe it or not. So the FTX hacker identity discovered by Kraken Exchange team, which is interesting. So uh, the CSO of Kraken Exchange tweeted just an hour ago in a response to Mario Norf Norfell that the Kraken team now knows the identity of the user that hacked FTX. We know the identity of the user and imagine if they released that. Uh, so check this out. So the FTX ha hacker has just found uh, been funded in his TRX wallet from Kraken. The same wallet that holds the stolen funds. This means that Kraken should have enough information to track down this individual or individuals together with law. If it's Sam, then it's basically him not caring. And uh, gosh, that, that's a lot of money there that Sam Bankman-Fried's obviously been running off with if that's the case. Now, good friend of Sam Bankman-Fried is Kevin O'Leary. And he's actually Kevin o has uh, basically stated this in many interviews as well. He actually knows his parents Sam Bankman-Fried's parents, who happens to be, I uh, believe they're compliance lawyers, from what I understand as well. So, uh, crazy. But he's basically saying that he is still investing in crypto. And I did have this in video uh, yesterday on my channel, but uh, I'm still going to invest in crypto. I lost money in the accounts there. They have a gate on them now, and it doesn't stop me from buying more, and I'm going to do just that. O'Leary said further, adding, I'm going, I'm gone, take advantage of the fact that most of these currencies, tokens, and coins have absolutely been beaten to the ground as a result of this, and I probably, uh, there is a buying opportunity, that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I personally look at it as well, I think it's an incredible buying opportunity. Now, crypto.com, interesting stuff, I don't use crypto.com, I never have, and I just, I haven't, obviously, but uh, reveals that it's holding... $2.8 billion in Bitcoin and altcoin reserves in a bid for transparency. So the chief executive of Prominent Crypto Exchange is revealing that some of the platform's reserve assets in a first step towards transparency. So CEO Chris Mazalek right here says that the investors can expect the crypto exchange to remain safe and transparent while announcing a full audit that would prove crypto.com has a one-to-one -one ratio of the reserve assets it claims it has. 
So obviously, while it proof the reserves audit preparation is underway, we are sharing our cold wallet addresses. Even they've got cold wallet addresses. Incredible. But for some of the top assets on our platform, this represents only a portion of our reserves. Around about 53,000 Bitcoin and 391,000 Ethereum combined with other assets should total $3 billion. So again, get your cryptos off exchange into cold wallets, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go to CryptoMeter.io. And uh, we'll quickly go to Twitter because there's not a lot happening other than Sam Bankman Free, which I'm sure everyone is aware of. But let's have a look at the where the money has been flowing in the last day. We have Ethereum, BNB, Doge. We have, uh, we've got Shiba Inu, Ethereum name service, which again, I was looking at a while ago. Axe Infinity, GMT Steppen, Stellar XLM. We have Bitcoin, of course, and that is it. Uh, but it's interesting to see people are still buying Doge. Anyway, let's go to Twitter quickly. I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz, by the way. There is my username. I've got the blue tick there as well. When I hit 100,000 subs, I am giving away this solid silver bullhead ring. It's valued at $2,500. And at the way that alloy prices are going up at the moment, I think this is going to be valued a lot more. And uh, this is an interesting tweet from Kathy Wood. I'm a big fan of hers. But uh, if inflation is unwinding, as we believe, then we could be heading back to the future, the roaring 20s. The last time several general purpose technologies evolved at the same time, telephone, electricity, and the inter internal combustion engine, the setup is remarkably similar. So this could be happening right here. Prior to the roaring 20s, the world was at war with World War II and suffering a pandemic, Spanish flu, while both had more serious impact on the global economy. Today's combination is a strong echo that could result in a much lower than expected inflation and the boom of innovation, which is interesting as well. So she's put out a whole thread here and basically Elon Musk did tweet about this and saying exactly, which is interesting. Cardano ADA network activity significantly increases following the FTX crash because he's basically putting up some incredible videos as well. Go watch um, Charlie, uh, Charles Hoskinson as well. Listen to this about Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Uh, these incredible investors that I do admire as well, but they're not too bullish on crypto. Not that I, that worries me, but have a listen to this. Something where there's nothing being produced in the way of value from the asset. That, that uh, You also have the problem that it draws in a lot of charlatans and that sort of thing who are trying to create various sorts of exchanges or whatever it may be. It, you know, it, it's something where, where people who are of less than stellar character see an opportunity to uh, clip people who are trying to get rich because their neighbors are getting rich buying this stuff that neither one of them understands. It will come to a bad ending. Charlie? Well, I like cryptocurrencies a lot less than you do. <laughs> anyway, look, guys, they are traditional investors in stock market, etc. But honestly, I, you know, personally, I know where this is going with crypto and so does everyone else watching my channel. Even, you know, you listen to people like Brad Garlinghouse, guys. This is the future. This is what's coming. This is happening as we speak. CBDCs, you know, cross-border payments, you know, uh, it's all there in front of your eyes. People need to wake up and see this. Now, interesting stuff. Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, he's been going on a massive rampage on Sam Bankman Freed, and I do give him credit for that. Uh, but again, I think it's, you know, I, I get the point, um, but uh, he's putting up a lot of stuff here. But anyway, so... Everyone owes the XRP Army a huge apology. Uh, the work that they have done uncover corruption at the SEC is ultimately probably what will end up saving the space. And many of you cheered up and assumed that the early demise of Ripple, I was also guilty, but now we unite. Um, all right. So, uh, you know, I've had disagreements with him before. I didn't appreciate him coming out saying he's the XRP supreme leader because he's not, in my opinion. As much as I like the guy, I think the actual supreme leaders should be people like Jeremy Hogan, Johnny Deaton, James K. Filan, Brad Garlinghouse is the supreme leader of XRP, of course. But uh, anyway, I think he's just going too much a little bit uh, with Sam Bankman fried I mean, I, it is what it is. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And a Wall Street Journal basically has put out, uh, you know, an, an, an article on FTX as well on Sam Bankman fried I'm not going to get in that. James Kofi Lan is a legend. And uh, when Elon was buying Twitter again, again, this is basically what I put up in my community tab there. He uh, His BS detector came up straight away with Sam Bankman fried 
And uh, insiders claim that SBF is still in Nassau right here. I believe that's in the Bahamas. And uh, the FTX HQ has been taken over by the Royal Bahamian Police. Uh, in civilian clothing, liquidators, SBF and SDS father, Joe Bankman, have all been in a meeting. They are compliance lawyers, so uh, they will do everything they can, obviously, to get involved there to save Sam Bankman Freed, if that happens, of course. Uh, the only reason why FTX bail, uh, bailed us out was to get our user funds onto their platform to use their shell game. They applied immense pressure to get Block 5 funds migrated to FTX custody. Employees were told by executives not to ask questions about the move. Probably the reason why BlockFi is now in deep SHIT. All right, and they've got my money as well. Luckily, it wasn't enough. This is what I'm saying. Get your cryptos off exchanges. Now, Binance, obviously, I'm going to end on this, but we have a policy to not comment on competitors. We call industry peers publicly. I broke this rule only a few times in the past. July 7th, I tweeted this, um, basically saying, so 3RS Capital owes Voyager a few hundred million. When bust, FTX Almeida gives 3RS Capital 100 million, but didn't save it. Alameda invests in Voyager, then takes $377 million loan from Voyager. Okay. Uh, v went bust. FTX didn't bail them out or return the money. Hard to follow. Uh, it's just crazy, the corruption right there. And uh, Charles Hoskinson, well, at least when Sam Bankman Free goes to prison, I'm in, uh, I'm in, will have a different meaning right here. And this is a, a, an ad, I believe that's uh, the NFL football player. I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I can't remember his name. But uh, this is a commercial right here. Oh. Tom you Brady. I'm in. I'm gay. You in? I'll hate you. I'm... It's just an ad for FTX. And uh, Kevin O'Leary, as an investor, you will never get it right every time you will make some mistakes. Sometimes big ones like FTX, the key is to learn from them so you don't repeat. Over time, experience will get you to the place where you can make more good investments than bad. Crypto.com is, uh, the bottom is in. Have a listen One to of him. These crypto infrastructure companies. I would like to see, and I don't, I don't want this to happen, but it always gives you a good bottom when you get a large player over levered that goes to zero. And that always tends to be the beginning of the rebuilding process. So if you have to sacrifice someone who used too much leverage, and it's always leverage that does this, somebody's over levered, positions are complicated, they're not transparent, they're not liquid, and they go to zero. Someone is out there on the brink of zero. That's okay. In fact, I'd argue that's a good thing when we get it. Now, do we get it this week? Do we get it next week? Someone's going to zero. I don't know who. But it'll be great for everybody else that survives because everybody will learn from that. Absolute facts. The fear and greed index is sitting at 21 right now. Let's go to crypto. Oh, sorry, coin market cap. Top gainers, Ubix Network, Doge, DAG, XPR, Solo, Acro, TRX, Kin, and Luna. And again, uh, where are my money is going right now, guys? And I did buy Solana. I did buy Solana, but my money is really going into these coins right here. Every single week, dollar cost averaging. Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, AVAX, Link, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, Casper, and XDC, and Alliance Block. These are where, you know, I'm putting most of my money every single week, dollar cost averaging, because this is these are the projects that have real utility that are being used by governments and institutions. It's a no-brainer. But that's it for today's video. It's a long one. Thank you very much for sticking around. Follow me on all social media and join the Patreon page. I will speak to you all tomorrow. Have a good weekend, guys. Peace out. Bye.